Hi there, so today we're going to talk about wrinkles and dark spots. Now, wrinkles and dark spots go hand in hand, especially as we start to age. You'll find that you're getting sun spots and age spots as you are developing wrinkles, basically. So today we're going to go over why we age, why our skin wrinkles, what causes dark spots, and how can we basically slow down the process of skin aging. My name is Zora Mugele and I love teaching ladies how to achieve a clear, even toned skin through good nutrition and a great skincare routine. Now, aging is completely normal. We're all going to age. We are not trying to prevent aging per se because it is going to happen. But what we do not want is premature aging. That is aging faster than what we are supposed to be. Now, why do we age? Before we get into that, before we get into that, when it comes to wrinkles and aging, there are internal factors like your genetics that will determine how quickly you are going to age. There's also external factors like your lifestyle, your skincare routine, your diet that are also going to determine how quickly you age. Research has shown us that the majority of what, the majority of things that make us age are external things, not internal things, which is why you are not going to age in the same way your mother aged if you have two completely different lifestyles. Okay, so let's get into why we get these wrinkles. So wrinkles are a result of the loss of collagen and elastin in your skin. That's basic, basic, simple reason why we start getting wrinkles and aging. Less no. collagen is produced by our skin as we start aging. Reason being, as we start aging, our all our bodily functions slow down. Skin cells are not being made at the rate they used to be made. Um, your, your, your whole system becomes sluggish. Your skin doesn't function as optimally as what it's supposed to function. And that leads to proteins like collagen and elastin and hyaluronic acid becoming less in your skin. So collagen is responsible for keeping our skin firm and it, it forms the foundation of our skin. Then you've got elastin on the other side and as the word suggests, it keeps our skin elastic. So it keeps our skin bouncy. So when you basically do that, your skin should just bounce back. Elastin is helping us do that. So as we age, these two things start slowing down and you find that your skin is not bouncy or as elastic as before. And you also find that your skin is not as firm as it used to be, be before. Now, the loss of skin firmness will form wrinkles as we go by. Another, uh, something else that becomes less as we age is hyaluronic acid in our skin. Now, this is found naturally in our skin, but production becomes less as we get older. So, hyaluronic acid, if you have less of it, your skin easily becomes dehydrated. Your skin easily becomes a bit drier. Now, what this does is it forms fine lines on your skin. Dehydration forms fine lines on your skin. But fine lines can go and develop into deeper wrinkles. The sun is the biggest culprit for skin aging because the more we are exposed to the sun without protection, the sun will damage our skin. So the sun damages our skin by destroying collagen and elastin fibers. So the sun basically damages collagen and elastin fibers in your skin. It is the biggest culprit when it comes to aging. So make sure you are consistent with that sunblock and that you are protecting your skin properly. Now let's, let's get into why we develop dark spots as we start to age. Remember earlier I said that our skin and our whole bodies become sluggish and all the processes become slow as we start to age. So part of that sluggishness and slowness will affect every single skin cell, right? So part of that is that the melanocytes now start producing melanin consistently. They become sluggish and you might find that they also do not deposit the melanin evenly on the skin surface anymore. So it might become blotchy. So this leads to a blotchy 
complexion that has dark spots, basically. So that's the first thing that causes dark spots as you're getting older. But then again, all the sun damage from when you were younger starts showing up when you, as we get older. So that also contributes to dark spots as we start aging. Now, if you are struggling with dark spots, I do have a free guide called Treatments for Pigmentation. In there, you will find all the professional and the home treatments for pigmentation. I will leave a link for that in the show notes of this episode. Now, which ingredients should you look for in your skincare routine to target wrinkles and dark spots at the same time? So retinol is one of the best ingredients to use when targeting wrinkles and pigmentation. So retinol increases skin cell turnover. That means that it forces your skin to shed dead skin quicker. It forces your skin to make new skin cells. So increasing the skin cell turnover will help the skin be not be so sluggish anymore, basically. So your skin will start actually working the way it's supposed to work. That's number one. This means that every single cell in your skin now is going to start functioning optimally. From your melanocytes, they will start distributing the pigmentation much more evenly. Your collagen and, and elastin will, will be produced more frequently also, then you will not have that loss happening. Number two, increasing your skin cell turnover has an exfoliating effect on your skin. This will basically also help shed any, any skin cells with excess pigmentation on them. So retinol will prevent wrinkles by increasing collagen and elastin production. It's going to remove any dead skin cells that are overly pigmented and also it's going to help the melanocytes function better and deposit melanin much more evenly in the skin. Then there's our favorite, vitamin C. Now vitamin C is a tyrosinase inhibitor. Now this means that it's going to stop the production of melanin. Not stop it completely, but regulate it better so that your melanocytes are not making too much melanin, right? It's also an antioxidant, meaning it fights free radicals it's going to reduce inflammation in the skin. Inflammation can cause aging and dark spots. So it's going to help remove inflammation in the skin. It's going to protect your skin from any further sun, sun damage, meaning you, you will not develop wrinkles or dark spots as frequently. Peptides are also a great ingredient to look for in skincare products. So peptides are basically the precursors of collagen, meaning collagen is made from peptides. Like the building blocks of collagen is the peptides. So if you use skincare products that contain peptides, you are putting peptides onto your skin, meaning that your skin is going to improve collagen production. This will help prevent wrinkles completely, but collagen also helps to camouflage pigmentation, especially dermal pigmentation. No topical skincare product can get rid of dermal pigmentation. And it's difficult to actually know if you have dermal pigmentation or not without a skincare therapist examining your skin. So collagen is a great thing to increase in your skincare, in your skin to camouflage pigmentation. And like I said earlier, aging is a normal process and it's going to happen to all of us. We, but, but what we do want is to age gracefully and look our best as we become older. Your skincare routine alone is not going to be enough to determine how gracefully you are aging. You have to look at things like your diet, your lifestyle, your water intake and your stress levels. All of these things can actually make your skin and your body age much quicker than what it's supposed to. So pay attention to all the external factors that are actually speeding up aging in your skin. Do not fear aging. Aging is a blessing. Remember, we all get to live, but we all don't live long enough to even worry about aging. So as you get older, you are blessed with a nice, beautiful, long life. Take care of your body, take care of your skin, and make sure that you are aging gracefully. I hope you found value in this episode, and I will see you on the next one.